Hey booktube, it's Jackie, how's it going? If you're new to me, it's the first time you're seeing my face. Hello, what's up? My name's Jackie, I sit on my floor and I talk about books. So I hope that's why you're here because that's what's gonna be happening today. If you're not new to me, thank you for always tuning in the continued support, I really do appreciate it. So today for you, I have my July TBR and it's, <laughs> it's gonna be all surprised, kind of a fucking doozy because I have no, I have no willpower, people. I have no willpower, um, none, zero. So without further ado, grab yourself a drink, have yourself a seat and let's get talking to some books. So I tried really hard this month to find some books that were on theme for, you know, Independence Day, but I realized that I have read all of my American Revolutionary books and the other ones I had that were historically based were based off the Civil War and I just didn't feel like that was representing. So I'm still on the lookout for some Revolutionary War romances. Um, so you might see another one pop up throughout the month, but right now in my TBR, I don't have anything reflecting the 4th of July. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But what I do have is quite a list of books and here we go. So this will be broken down into categories just like my other TBRs have to kind of keep it nice and organized. So let's get into it. So my carryovers from last month are as follows. My first carryover is this bad boy. Curse by Christina Marziadis. I am almost done with it. So you'll be seeing a full review of it very, very soon. I'm almost done with it. This thing's a fucking doozy and a trip. And I can't wait to fucking talk about it. I'm having a great time with it. But damn. Damn, Christina. What are you doing to me? Okay. What the fuck are you doing to me? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I am having a great time with it. And I am really, really excited to sit down and talk about it. So with full book review on this one. But I'm almost done with it. Almost done with it. So yes. Just Get It Done June um, kind of helped a little bit. Didn't get as much as I wanted, but you know what? It helped. The next two carryovers I have are Tilly Cole's It Ain't Me, Babe. This was my viewer recommendation jar from May, I believe. I believe this was May. So it's been carried over. Um, I have not started yet, but I am really excited about it because I wanted to pick up Tilly Cole for a while. I have one other Tilly Cole book, um, and that's Sick Fucks, but this one is a series, and you know, I, I know triggers. So I'm still really excited about picking this up and doing a full book review on it as well, because that is the deal with my TBR recommendation jar. So yay. And the last carryover is another TBR jar recommendation. Um, this was last month's and this is owned by M Never. It looks like this. I have this on my Kindle. I don't physically own this one. Um, it's on my Kindle, so I will be reading this one and a full book review on it as well. I'm um, still very excited about both of these. Um, so far, my viewer recommendation jars have been fucking fire. I have not disliked any of them. So both of these, super, super excited for. Really, really pumped and can't wait to talk about them. So, yes. I do have a few author requests to reviews. Um, the first one is If I Were Yours by Ella Jacobs. It looks like this. This is the sequel to Not Yours to Keep a trilogy that she's writing. And I did a full book review on Not Yours to Keep, which I will link here in the corner. Um, I really, really enjoyed that book. This is a BDSM Why Choose. So yeah, and it's told, at least the first book was told primarily from the submissive perspective. So I'm assuming this one follows the same suit. Um, but I'm really excited to do this one and there'll be a full book review on it as well really, really soon because I am in the process of reading it as we speak. So, yay. Uh, the next one I have is also a viewer request, or not a viewer request, but an author request review as I'm reviewing this entirety of the series. This is Augustine by Lucian Bain, the third installment to the Royal Bastards Motorcycle Club series, uh, Newark, New Jersey chapter. I'm still working my way through it. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell's going on with this wall component that I learned about in book two. And I have full book reviews for book one and two. I will link their playlist here in the corner for you. I just create a playlist for them because I'll be doing the entire series. And I'm really, really excited about it. Um, Augustine out of the five is my least favorite persona, um, but he is the vessel persona. So I'm really interested to figure out what Bane does with his character and how he incorporates Butterfly and see if maybe Butterfly grows on me more than she did in the second book because I didn't like her in the first one. She started growing me in the second one. So let's see if she can keep that pattern going. So yeah, two thumbs way, way up. Full book review on this one as well. 
And the next one that I have an author review, and this was sent to me by the author. I was really, really excited to get it. I did an unboxing. I will link the book haul and unboxing that I did in the down box below. But this is Love You Finally by Lauren Lacey. This is the second installment to Love You at Beverly Mills series. I did a full book review on the first one, Love You Always. I'll link it up here in the corner. Had a fucking fantastic time with it. It was five stars. Had an FTD bank scene right off the fucking bat. So a lot of good things that first one so this one i am expecting fantastic fucking things from lauren fantastic things i'm expecting it and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get it because that bitch had me crying in 30 fucking pages okay seriously she did so i'm i'm hoping for the same thing for this one i'm really really excited about this one um and i did get a really cool little care package with it that was really really dope so i was excited about it so very looking much forward to this one again full book review on this one a lot of full book reviews. <laughs> it's kind of my thing, guys. It's kind of my thing. Um, but that's all my author requested and my carryovers. And what I have for read-alongs this month is I have two, I have one read-along. Um, and that is my read-along that I'm hosting with Jen over at the Book Refuge. I'll link her in the down box below. And this is the ABCs of Love read-along. The ABCs of Love, if you're not familiar with it yet, is a series that I found on Kindle Limited where it is a conglomeration of 26 authors and they all wrote a different book for the letter of the alphabet. For a while, they were starting to be connected. And after some time passed, they stopped being connected. And so far, they've been pretty much mediocre books. The last two we read were actually pretty dope. Both me and Jen had a good time with them. Um, both worthy of recommend recommending again. So I was really excited about that. So I'm looking forward to this month to see what happens. And we have three installments. One is a carryover from a previous installment because we couldn't get it on Kindle at the time it was time for us to read it because the author had pulled it and now she has re-released it and so we will be reading illicit by jessa jameson jesselyn jameson this is a bdsm office romance yeah i said that together interesting um we'll also be reading nookie by lane martin and this is second chance small town usually a really good combo for me um usually had never have any issues with that combo so fingers crossed and then we'll be reading Official by Georgia Kaufman. And this is a brother's best friend, Fake Dating. Fake Dating, the last two installments were Fake Dating and they were both pretty good. Um, so I'm, ex I'm excited about these three. Again, they're all on Kindle Unlimited and the live show for this will be on my channel on July 28th at 7.30 Central Time. Um, I believe that is the last Friday of July, just so you're aware. But yeah, please uh, join along or you just come and listen to me and Jen bitch about the books. And I believe Becky, um, from Beck X Reads will actually be joining us on this one. Um, she's going to be trying to read them so she can come back and, and party with us. So, yay! Um, for book clubs, I am meeting with my Red Witch and Bitchin' Book Club. It's the pers my personal book club that I have with my girlfriends, and we are meeting this month, and we are reading Her Soul to Take by Harley LaRoe. Uh, yeah, I'm reading a Harley LaRoe book. First one, guys. First one out the gate, I know. She has a lot of triggers and she's trigger happy. So when my group picked this book, I was like, have y'all heard of her before? Because I'm pretty sure she's got some heavy triggers, but they were like, we're, we're good, we're good. I'm like, okay. So I know nothing about this book. I've never seen this one. Um, so I'm kind of anxious and excited all at the same time because I'm okay for some dark shit. Like bring it on. I, I like the dark, we all know this. It's where I live, okay? It's where I live and I love it. So this is my Red Witch and Bitchin' Book Club. Um, I believe we are meeting the last Saturday of the month. I'm pretty sure it's the last Saturday of the month. So yeah, excited. Hopefully it will be good. And the next book club that I have is actually brand new. Um, some other ladies over here on BookTube decided to get together and um, create the Black Hat Coven Book Club or Black Hat Book Coven uh, Book Club. And this is our little logo here. Um, I think you can pick out which one's me. <laughs> um, this was created by Becky over at Beck X Reads. She is one of the uh, members of the club and also Kaylani at Kaylani Simply Me and Laura at A Book Circus. And I will link all of their channels down below. You can go check them out. Becky did do an announcement video for this and I will link her video in the down box below so you can go check it out as well. But what we are reading is a series and we're doing a reading sprint each month and then 
once we finish the series, we're doing a live show culminating the whole series. And the first trilogy we picked is A Witch's Lament by Kathy Walker. And this is the Salem Witches trilogy. Um, I know nothing about this except it's like paranormal and it's set in Salem. Like that's all I fucking know about this book. I've never heard of it. I've never heard anybody talk about it. I've never seen it before until Becky popped it up and said, hey, which one do you guys want to go with? And this was the one that took the most votes. So I'm excited about it. I love witches and I love Salem. So bring this fucking on. Bring it on. I'm down. Let's let's do this. And I get to talk with some of my girlfriends online about, bitch, about witchy books. I had a really good time doing Becky's read along of the Nightwalker series and Kehlani was part of that and we had really really good banter during our live show so I'm really really pumped about this. I think this is going to be hella fucking fun. Uh, we do have a reading sprint scheduled for July 16th um, at 5 p.m. Easter time on Becky's channel. So we'll be doing a reading sprint for each book but we won't be doing a live show on each book. We'll only be doing a live show on the culmination of the series. So I really like the way that's kind of laid out and everything. So we have a lot to talk about on that day. So join along. If you'd like, make sure you get your witch's hat. All right, make sure you get it because we're all gonna be rocking it because this is the Black Hat Coven book coven. Black Hat book coven. I'm gonna have a, it's gonna be a while before I figure out how to say that correctly without messing it up. Those are all my book clubs, read-alongs, carryovers, and now it's time for my free reading books. These are the books that I'm going to try to get to uh, this month if I can. I have never been successful with my TBR. I try every single month, but I, the last three months, more so May and June, not so much April, but May and June, they kicked my ass. I was in a reading slump and I could not get the fuck out of it. Couldn't get out of it, but I think... I'm finally coming out of it. I really feel a lot better about everything. I'm wanting to pick things up. I'm wanting to stay reading. I'm not wanting to sit down and watch television shows, even though The Witcher just released and I will be marathoning the fuck out of that today. Just saying, i um, going to because it's, it's Henry Cavill. Okay, it's Henry Cavill. Let's just be honest about it. It's Henry Cavill. So uh, once that's done, I'll definitely get back into my reading. Um, but these are the books that I'm really wanting to try to get to this um, month for my free choice. And when I was picking these free choice books, I am doing a series recap. Um, I did a series I want to start, want to continue, want to complete video at the beginning of the year. I'll link in the dial box below. And I'm doing kind of a um, halfway mark, like where I'm at right now with all my goals and everything like that. And I realized that I hadn't touched any of those series. None. <laughs> so I decided to work within that scope for my free reading. And this is what I came up with. So speaking of Henry Cavill, I'm picking up The Witcher by um, Andre Zapowski. I think that's how you say his name. I'm not 100% sure. And the the first installment of the Witcher series is called The Last Wish. This is the series that my husband bought for me for Christmas. He bought me the entire illustrated series. And he has actually read this entire series so far. So when I was doing my 500 plus subscriber giveaway, I asked on the form, is there anything you guys like to see from me? And I got a lot of people saying they wanted to see more of my husband. And one idea, I don't remember who said it, but it gave me the idea of doing a video where my husband and I read a book together and then we talk about it on my channel. So since he's already read this book, he has graciously agreed to sit on my floor and talk about The Witcher with me. So you'll get to see a special talk discussion book, discussion video on this. It will not be a review. It'll just be a discussion between me and my husband on this book. And we both are big fans of the show and he's even agreed to maybe possibly play the video games. He did not play the video games, but see if we can somehow get the video games so we can incorporate that as well if you've ever played the video games with this. That's not a guarantee. It just depends if we can get it. Um, but yeah, so look forward to that and you get to see a little bit of my husband in action and you get to see why I love him so much or why I want to punch him in the face. We'll just see how he feels about that day, you know, how it goes. But yes, I'll be picking up The Witcher. Woohoo! And he's really happy because I'm reading a book he bought me. Uh, the next book I'm planning on trying to get to is Sierra Simone Sinner. This was a series that I wanted to complete this year. So I wanted to pick up one of these. And um, this is the next installment. This is the sequel to Priest, which I had a great fucking time with. Everybody knows I love that book. Uh, it was not five stars for me, but it is definitely rent-free living in my head. Father Tyler Bell 
super excited. I know this does not follow, follow Poppy and fa Father Tyler Bell. Um, I believe this follows his brother, I think, in this one. Um, but I'm still excited because I love Sierra Simone and I, I'm really anxious to get back to this role and see what else she can do. And this is my nice autographed copy. And it says, um, honest guy thing. I think that's what that says. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that, I hope that's what it says. But yeah, she did sign this for me. Um, so I'm excited. Yay. We're going to pick it up. I'm going to try, get a try. Um, the next book is not, it was not on that series page, but if I read this book, I will have completed this series. So I decided to pick up Jane Henry's King's Ransom. Uh, this is the third installment to the Ruthless Dom series. And once I complete this, I will have completed this entire series and I will do another series review of the Ruthless Doms as I did one for the Wicked Dom series. So fingers crossed I'll get that and I'll knock another series off my list of series that I need to complete that are sitting on my shelf uncompleted. So I'm really, really excited because she has other series that I want to pick up, but I haven't bought any more of her books until I finish these. So, but yeah, this one follow, this is Brats from Mafia again. Um, and I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm reading the back of it right now. And I'm like, yes, let me, let me just read it for you guys. It'll be easier. Um, he'll make me call him daddy, demand my obedience and drive me to my knees. I've been in love with Stefan moors off for as long as I can remember. He's fearless, powerful, and a, vo and a vicious leader of the Brafa underworld, and he barely notices my existence. That is until the day I see something I shouldn't, the day the man I love makes me his prisoner, the day my love turns to hate. Mmm! Mmm! That's all I gotta say. And look at this cover. Yes! Silver Fox. Thank you very much. <laughs> we, we like a silver fox every once in a while. We do. We, we like a good silver fox. And the last book I'm going to try, I've already put this on my TBR one time this year and it didn't work, um, but I'm going to go back to it because this is a series that I wanted to try to start and finish um, in this year. I don't know about the finishing part, but I'm going to try. Uh, and it's the Zodiac Academy, The Awakening by Carol Beckham and Susan Valenti. And this will get a full reading vlog. So you'll actually see me reading it. This was the series I wanted to vlog my entirety of reading from start to finish. And so we'll be doing another vlog on this one because you guys have been asking to see some more vlogs lately and I haven't been doing them. So we're going to get back into it. We're getting back to it. Like I said, I'm coming out of that slump, guys. I'm ba I'm, I feel like I'm back. I feel like I am. So fingers crossed and we, we knock this out of the park. And then, of course, I will also be doing my Audible books and I've got some in the, in the works, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete them because... Um, some things have changed, so I'm not able to listen to Audible books at the normal times I normally would have. So um, I I don't know. I didn't want to put them on my TBR and be like, hopes up that I'm going to get to read this, and I might not. So, But just know there will be some Audible books thrown in there, and then I do have um, some other ARCs that have been sent to me, but they're not due anytime soon. So if I don't get to them, it's okay. Now, last but not least, my TBR reviewer rec, because I'm having a really good time with this. I know I haven't been like on top of reading these books, but every book I've read you guys have recommended to me, I have fucking loved. I have, a, I have really, really enjoyed it. I will actually make a playlist of my TBR recommended um, books, reviews, and I'll link it here for you guys so you can go check out the ones that I have been able to review that you guys have recommended if you haven't gotten to check them out yet. Um, I'm gonna start keeping them in a playlist other than just my review playlist. So yeah, so let's get my little my little sticker guys out here. I need to find a place for all my stickers. Um, I thought about putting on my Kindle, but I just don't like stickers on electronics. It's just my thing. Um, power to anybody else who does it. I just don't do it. So I need to like maybe get like a sticker journal book or something. I don't know. Give me some ideas, guys. I need some ideas. But here we go. My little cup of doom. Not really doom. This is like cup of badassery now like what it's turning into. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. All right. Ring Around the Rosie, L.A. Fior and Anthony Duane. All right, let's get the paperwork out and see what we're looking at. Here we go. All right, Ring Around the Rosie by L.A. Fior and Anthony Duane. Uh, doesn't say that it's in a series. It's romance. Uh, tropes. 
dark childhood friends to lovers to lost touch and finally reunited mystery oh my god the sex scenes <laughs> nice uh the person chose to remain anonymous who recommended this so whoever recommended this thank you very much um i i hope it's i hope it's awesome um and we do have some comments so let's see what they said uh, multiple POVs, awesome. Returning to the house that their parents all died in many years ago. There's a game to be played if they dare do so. Cover is stunning. This sounds like a romance with like a saw element. If I'm right, that's fucking dope and I'm down. Fuck me. Let's, this is what the cover looks like. Um, I actually haven't seen the cover. You're seeing it before as I'm edit, when I edit this, that's when I'll first see the cover. So let me know if you thought it was stunning because I actually don't know what it looks like. Fuck that. We're just gonna look it up right now. I got my notes here. We're just gonna, we're gonna do it. We're just gonna look it up. So let's see. Um, go to my Google. My nephew used to say, uh, just giggle it. When he didn't, when, you know, people say just Google it, he used to say just giggle it. So, all right. Ring around the rosy. Ring around the rosy. L A. Your and Anthony Dwayne. All right, let's see what we get. Images. You know, if this is the cover that you're talking about with the two holding hands with their backs facing, that is a stunning cover. That is, but there's also this bad boy. Oh, that's a movie. That's a movie. Never mind. This must be the book right here. This, this has to be it with the two. Yeah. I do like it. I like a good black and white cover. Yeah. Props. I like it. Awesome. So yeah, there we go. That's my TBR for July, guys. Wish me luck. Uh, maybe this is the month I get it done. Maybe it's the month I don't get it done. I don't fucking know. I'm not making promises anymore, but I know that I've got some kick-ass material to read this month. So there will be the, um, book listing to choose a book for a review. So please make sure to cast your vote and keep your eyes peeled for the, uh, joint video with me and my husband. I'm really, really excited about that and as well as all of those dates. So June, July 16th is our reading sprint for the Black Hat Book Coven and July 28th, right? July 28th, make sure, double check that. July 28th on my channel for the ABCs of Love Read Along. So that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys all soon with another video.